Say hi, I'm Reese's. Say hi. I'm no kitty pig. I'm Reese's Pieces. And I love to do math. Hmm. Can you tell how much you like to do math? Give him a sound. That means he's going to teach you guys about simplifying fractions. So let's see how this goes. All right, Reese's. I'll pause you. All right, well today we are going to be doing reducing fractions, simplifying fractions, putting them in lowest term. However we want to look at that, um, that's pretty much what it's called. So if we take a fraction like 20 24ths, we look at it, we wanna make it look smaller. So what we could do is we say, hey, what can we count by to land on those? And we see that a two works. So kids sometimes think, well, two, that's a really small number. But if we really, really think about it, it's not really that bad. Okay. A two means you're cutting something in half. So half of 20 is 10 and half of 24 is 12. Let me look at this and we say, hey, 10 twelfths. And we say, well, we can get that a little bit smaller also. So we could say, let's divide by two again. Whatever we do to the numerator, we do to the denominator. So let's divide those also by two. And we get five, six. And then we look and we say, hey, can anything go into fives that goes into sixes? And that would be no. So now let's look at another one. Okay. So let's look at another one. So if we have 45 fiftieths, we say, hey, what can we count by to land on those? And we could say we could divide by five. So whatever we do the numerator, we do the denominator. How many fives and 45 is nine? How many fives and 50 is 10? And we know that this is reduced all the way because the numbers are back to back in the number system, like nine, 10. And sorry, we're getting a little bit of a glare, but it's because my page is kind of, um, kind of moving on us. All right. So now let's look at this one. So let's say we have 60, 70 seconds. And then some kids right off the bat see, oh, a two. Others might see a three. Well, if you can see a two and a three, then you can see a six. So we could dissect it by a six. And six goes into 60 10 times. And six goes into 72 12 times. And then we say, oh, I can divide those by two. So we reduce it some more. And we do everything we've got to do. It doesn't matter if I take a fraction and just keep reducing it by twos or whether I found here I could have taken 60, 70 seconds and divided it by 12 and I would have gotten five, six to begin with. It doesn't matter how you cut it. We're still cutting it and we're getting it all the way down to its absolute smallest. So reducing fractions, we could have something as simple as um, nine fifteenths, which looks simplified, but what can we count by to land on nines and fifteens? That would be a three, three, six, nine, three, six, nine, 12, 15. So we're going to divide by three. Three goes into nine three times. Three goes into 15 five times. And that is simplified because these are both prime numbers, but not just are they prime, they can't be simplified anymore because they only have one times three and one times five. If we divide by one, it does not change it. If you need more help with simplifying fractions, you can YouTube me in the comment spot, or you can simply just rewind the video and watch it from the beginning. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby and I heart math and Diet Coke. Two things in life I run on.